Are you an international student on optical practical training, that is OPT, and you're feeling overwhelmed by the US tax system? I'm here to help. This video will be an ultimate tax guide. I'll cover everything you need to know about filing your taxes as an international student on OPT. From understanding your tax residency status to navigating tax forms and deductions. I would simplify the tax filing processes and how you can maximize your refund. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber and if this is your first time on my channel. Welcome, welcome. My name is Esther. On this channel, I share study abroad opportunities for international students. I also share tips on how to live and travel abroad on student budgets. So if these are the kind of content you're looking for, you are on the right channel. It would be great if you click on the subscribe button to join the family and also turn on your post notification bell. Sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of US taxes for international students on OPT. <laughs> Today, I'm excited to talk about a crucial topic for all international students in the USA on OPT, that is Optical Practical Training, taxes. This video is sponsored by Sprint Tax, the official non-resident tax partner of TurboTax and a trusted name in tax preparations for international students. With Sprint Tax, you can file your tax returns correctly, maximize your refund and avoid future issues especially those of you that have intentions of filing for green card and visa applications also that is if you need to renew your visa so let's get into the main discussion first i would want you to know that it is essential and crucial for you to determine your residency status for tax purposes usually if you're a graduate student on f1 visa status and you have been in the usa for less than five years you are considered a non-resident alien for tax purposes. Don't forget, less than five years. You are a non-resident alien when it comes to tax filing. But if you have been in the USA for more than five years, that is five years and above, you are typically considered a resident alien when it comes to tax filing. There is a link I will pin in the comment section of this video you can check that link which will take you to the Sprint Tax blog post where you can learn about the substantial presence test. If you earn any form of income while in the USA, you're expected to pay your federal and state income taxes and also you're expected to file your tax return. OPT and individual students are taxed based on their wages at graduated rates which ranges between 10% to about 39.6% depending on your income level. Sprint Tax will help you with the preparation of your tax documents and also ensure that you claim the maximum legal tax refund. When it comes to state taxes, you may also have to pay state taxes on your income depending on where you live in the USA and also your personal circumstances. guys personal circumstances and the state you live determines if you're going to pay your state tax income or not but each state has different rules which involves tax laws however there are about nine states in the usa that don't charge taxes on income these states include alaska florida nevada new hampshire south dakota tennessee texas washington and the state of Wyoming. If you have any questions about state taxes, Sprint Tax Team will be happy to help you. You can drop your questions in the chat box below or you use the link that will pin in the comment section to go to the Sprint Tax blog post and ask any questions from their team. Next, let's talk about tax credits. While there is no specific OPT tax relief, you may be eligible and able to claim tax credits if you qualify for them. Such tax credits include child tax credits, child and dependent care tax credit, foreign tax credit, retirement savings contribution credit, credit for other dependent and adoption credit. So how do you file your tax return while on OPT in the USA? As a student, you will need to file the form 8843 and if you earn income, you will file the form 1040 NR. Sometimes an OPT participant may become a resident for tax purposes. In this case, you will need to complete the W-9 form and clarify your residency status with your employer. Sprint Tax is the only self-preparation tax software for non-residents. And the process of preparing your taxes with Sprint Tax is so fast and simple. All you have to do is answer a few questions, after which the system will estimate your personal circumstances 
determine your residency status and also prepare the tax forms that you will use to file for your taxes you can contact spring tax live chat using the link in the comment section below and their team will be happy to help you with any questions you have regards filing your taxes in the usa as a student on opt they will also help you with the tax preparation processes so guys this is easy simple and a way for you to file your tax correctly as an international student on opt if you're interested in learning about other international student experiences in the usa check out international student diary thank you for watching i'll see you in another video till then guys stay tuned peace